What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad A9 here, bringing another rad movie review. And today we're going to be talking about Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, the latest Marvel film. It just dropped. Definitely was a blast. I enjoyed every moment of it. I'm going to let you all know that right now. But before we get down to this non spoiler review, be sure if you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Now let's get down to this review. Roll it. So Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is the latest Marvel film. This is kind of like officially the start of the Marvel Phase 4 because like Black Widow is kind of like a precursor, like old story. So this is like the new one that takes place after Endgame, all the stuff, kicking off a bunch of new things. So let's get down to talking about the positives of this movie. So right off the bat, my key, key positive is the thing I was worried about the most was how the editing and the fighting choreography and all that kind of stuff was going to be shot and played out throughout the entire film. And oh man, that is the best part of this movie. All the action sequences, like this has some of the top notch, best action you've ever seen in any MCU film. And just the bus scene alone is better than the action in some entire films that we've had recently. I also enjoyed the way they tackled the story. It's a really good, unique origin story. I liked it. It has some new elements to it, the way it has Shang-Chi and his sister in it. Also, like, a buddy friend for to tag along with, like, starring Aquafina. Like, oh, man, all three of them, I think, had a really good chemistry, and I was down for the ride to watch them as they went through this journey, discovering all these new aspects of the Shang-Chi world. And like I said, we get to dive into a lot of cool things in this film, so that's why I really loved it. It has a lot of that good eastern spiritual like nature to it like all that like ritual stuff everything's in here and i thought that i appreciated it a lot also our cgi the cgi is top notch it was like really good like uh, blended with that realistic effects and all the realistic fighting very well and all the different scenery and locale i thought that was really top notch as well and the cinematography beautiful the colors it was very vibrant like that's if that's one word i could describe the colorization of the film it's very vibrant and it's in your face but in a good way like i said beautiful to look at sort of like you know like that garden that has all the rich colors of all the different flowers like that's the way the color is throughout this entire film our soundtrack too we have a lot of good mixes of old eastern style music soundtrack but also some new school like hip-hop style so it's got a good blend you know for all the new school kids but a traditional style music as well that fits the genre of like the fi fighting and martial arts film that they're trying to nail down in this movie and yes, we're going to keep going with the positives because there is a bunch. Also, our villain, played by Tony Lung. I think that's how you say his name. Sorry if I butchered that, but he is amazing. One of the top notch, easily in the top five greatest villains that we've had in the MCU. He's such a three-dimensional villain, and that's the best thing, is having those villain antagonist characters that you could really understand and either sympathize, you could sympathize with and understand them, you know, even though you don't agree with the way route they're taking to get the means of what they want, you know. And I think this film had a great pace. Like I said, I was on board from the beginning to the middle to the end. I thought all of it handled very well. The pacing, the characters, the acting, it was top notch for sure. Like, oh, I was just so on board. Like, I was really happy because I had high expectations for this film. And this film did meet all my expectations for sure across the board. So let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this film. And there's only really one negative. <laughs> And my only real negative is I think this film could have actually done with being a good few minutes longer, like a good 15 to 20 minutes longer. And I think that actually would have served the film a bit better. Being able to flesh out some more stuff, a little better relationship building between Shang-Chi and his sister. Because they have some scenes together, but I think we could have built that relationship a bit more. Had some more payoff in that third act and everything. But uh, overall, like I said, everything else was perfect. I, across the board, had a great time with this film. Acting, the action, the CGI, the comedy stuff in this film landed too. All the comical moments I thought actually they didn't take away from the movie. And the moments that I thought certain things were going to happen that were comical 
they stuck with it and kept it into a serious moment. And I thought that was really character developing and uh, world building. And I really did enjoy that too. Thanks for sticking around with me all for another rad movie review. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you've seen Shang-Chi, let me know in the comment section what you thought of the film. Did you enjoy this film? Do you think this is a great film to start off and kick off the phase four for Marvel? I think it was a blast for sure. I, like I said, had a great, great time. A class overall in my book. Shang-Chi is going to get a nine out of 10, a hard nine. This is a great film. Like I said, I definitely recommend checking this out. It deserves every penny for sure. And I hear like they're already having a great time in the box office. So I hope more people run out to the theaters and go and check out this film. And don't forget to stick to the channel and like and subscribe because I'm going to be having a lot of horror content coming up going into October this horror season. I'm really excited for it. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.